Hey everyone, this is Alex. Just wanted to do a quick video for you. Uh, now that it's a new year, let's just assume that your calendar and fiscal year are the same starting in January. So it's now January, you've now wrapped the 2018 year. So what we want to do is take a look at what reports are most frequently run and analyzed around this time of year to look back and ask some good questions and prepare for the coming year. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here to reports. And what I like to tell people is always start off with the basics. Income statement, balance sheet. Uh, pretty straightforward. Income statement will show you for last year. Here is all of your income accounts, and here is all of your expense accounts listed like so with their totals with your net income figure here at the bottom. Now you can customize this report if you don't know up in the top right here with the report layout. You can do a subtotal by group, and you can also show sub accounts. So if I click that, it'll kind of break it up based on what parent and sub accounts I have, as well as what groups I have in here. And then if you have any questions or want to look into something specific, you can click on an amount and drill into that one account's activity for the year. The other one is a balance sheet. So here's a balance sheet. Uh, same thing, you're going to want to date this though at the end of the last year, so December 31. So here is all of your assets, here are all of your liabilities, and then all of your fund balances down here at the bottom. So just showing you a snapshot of this is all of your possessions, all of your debt, and your equity at the end of the year. So those two reports, pretty basic. Income statement, balance sheet. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit more specific, what you would do is start with something that's more activity based. So really, if you're looking back towards the end of the year and for the last 12 months or so, you're really wanting to ask the question, how did I do or how do I need to now plan differently for the coming year? So a good report to do for that is the report is the budget to actual report. So if I click on this and again, click last year. Then what this is going to show me is I've got my actuals. So these actuals here are going to match the income statement that we just looked at. In fact, let me remove a couple of these things to not distract. So this is going to show you all of the actuals for all of your income and your expense accounts for the year. Then if you had a budget, what this would do is shows your budget totals here as well as a difference. I don't have a budget in this account, but what it would do is say you budgeted for 2500 so you fell a little short. You budgeted for 2000 so you're a little bit over. So what that's going to do is just show you here's how you planned the year, you know, 12 months ago, and then here's how you did. This is typically one of these budget reports is probably something you would actually run more on a monthly or a quarterly basis rather than just at the year end. But it's always good to take a look back through the last year as well. So you would do that. Uh, so if you don't have any questions then on the budget, if everything looks like it lines up, then the next question I would ask is, is there anything else that kind of needs to be drilled into? <clears throat> so an example of this would be, oh, this department income is a little bit higher than I expected. Or let's say you have like a miscellaneous income or a miscellaneous expense account that's been kind of used as a catch-all for the year, and now you need to go sort through it. Now would be the time to now click on one of those amounts and go into now the transaction list for that account and then click into whatever transactions you need to research a little bit further. That will just take you right into the transaction so then you can you know, make a change, reclassify it, add some details, whatever you need to do. <clears throat> the other reports to run around this time of year would just be any sort of like um, investigative type of, type of reports. So kind of similar to what we just looked at to where you're on an income statement and you want to drill further in, now would be a time to evaluate other things. So let's say that outside of um, just a standard income statement in a uh, balance sheet, you had other funds or other classes that you wanted to take a look at in more detail. You would essentially run the income statement, but for each thing that you're kind of looking into. So Let's say I have some schools here that I want to take a look at, uh, being a custom field that I've or a custom um, tag that I've used. I can drill into an income statement, a budget list, a uh, tag statement, a transaction list by that tag. So what I'm going to want to do is just dig into whatever questions I might have related to that particular tag category. And you can do the same things with funds here. So in the top left, kind of here's the other income statements, income statement by fund. So for the most part, what you're doing is you're looking back over the last couple of months and looking for activity, making sure that everything is coded correctly, making sure that you adhere to your budget. So all of those are more like activity type questions and making sure that you just either did or are doing uh, what you planned. Uh, once you've done all of that, 
then the balance sheet is kind of where everything now ends up. So if you make any changes to your income statement, it's probably going to impact something on your balance sheet. Once you're all said and done, the last kind of authoritative report that I would take a look at is not just a balance sheet, <clears throat> but it would be a balance sheet by fund. So I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to do is add a couple of filters here. So I'm going to make sure that all of my funds are selected, and they are, so general emissions building. And then in the report layout, I'm going to add the total column. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's the right date here, so 12-31-18. So what this is doing is if I were to just look at this right column here, the amount, this is what would correlate to my just overall balance sheet. This is the sum of everything. So checking has a total balance of 24000 12 and 12 and savings, petty cash, so on and so forth. But what it's doing here in the middle is it's showing you, okay, here's the total, but then here is your balance sheet per fund that you have in play. If you have a lot of funds, imagine this report being very long horizontally. I only have three, so it's a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> now, this account is a little bit boring because missions and building are pretty gen or are pretty, you know, scarce here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if I were to then say, you know, let's say I had a missions fund balance and it was negative, a lot of people will take a look at a balance sheet and say, why is my, you know, this fund balance uh, negative or different than I thought it was going to be? This report shows you exactly why it is the way it is. Uh, let's just do a little fun thing here and change my starting balance. Let's put some amounts in here. So let's say that I had uh, negative 5,000 here and negative 10,000 here. Or actually, let's just do like a 2,000. Okay. So let's go back to that same report, balance sheet by fund. Let's just take a look at the balance sheet, actually. So if I take a look at a balance sheet, what I'm seeing is negative 5,000 for my missions fund. But that doesn't necessarily tell me why it's negative 5,000. Uh, the reason why that is, is each fund in your fund accounting system, APLOS, has its own assets, liabilities, and then that results into an equity account in amount down here at the bottom. So if I were to look at the comparative balance sheet by fund, then let me add that total. Then what that's doing is it's saying you have this, oh, excuse me, you have this overall fund balance here at the bottom, but that's because you have assets minus liabilities, which are resulting in that negative fund balance. So all that to say, let's say that you had some amounts in here and you're thinking, oh man, what's, what's going on with my emissions fund? Why is it negative? Well, what you can do is now go research and run a transaction list report to show you transactions that hit checking in the missions fund. And then that's going to show you here's everything that leads up to that value. Uh, <clears throat> this is a an extremely important report to take a look at, uh, namely if you are wondering why your fund balances are kind of off according to you down here at the bottom. If you're taking a look at and this, this just doesn't look right. I know this is not right. These amounts should be different. Well, this report is going to show you why that is. So 48,000 here at the bottom is calculated as 48,000 in assets and nothing in liabilities. So assets minus liabilities equals my fund balance down here at the bottom. So this would be kind of the report that I would use uh, again at the end. So at the, at the onset, what you're going to want to do is take a look at an income statement, income statement by fund, income statement by tag, income statement compared to your budget, all of those reports that are a little bit more descriptive of the activity that's come in. And then once you've sorted all of the activity, then take a look at a balance sheet and a balance sheet specifically by fund with the total column added in there. So that way you can see here's everything and here's everything now by fund. And then if you need to do some more investigative uh, reporting to go figure out why that fund balance is the way it is, that report at least gives you kind of the snapshot to, to work from. Uh, again, most of our customers have some wonky, you know, fund, fund balances going on here. Uh, this is the report that we point them to every single time. So this is super helpful if you need to take a look at some of that stuff for the year end. All right. So a couple of reports there, income statement, budget to actual, and then an income statement by tag or fund, depending on what you want to take a look into. And then I would run the balance sheet as well as the balance sheet by fund to kind of finish off any investigative questions you might have for the prior year. Okay. Everything other than that is kind of up to you and how you want to uh, take a look through your organization. Again, there's a lot of like more transactional based reports that you can take a look at. Uh, but again, I would start with kind of those summary uh, reports because then that will tell you what you actually need to do some more research on going forward. Alrighty. So good luck in the new year. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. 
you can reach us with the little intercom smiley face uh, icon down here that will open up a conversation with our support team. You can also give us a call at 1-888-274-1316, and we'd be happy to help. Thanks. We'll see you soon.